Hi friends, it's Miss G again. We are here to read a book about shapes. Yeah, so who can tell me? Let's remind ourselves about what we've been learning about, right? So who can tell me what this shape is? Yes, it's a rectangle, yeah because it has one, two, three, four sides. Yeah, and one, two, three, four corners or vertices. Good job. Now, who can tell me what this shape is? Yeah, it's a circle. Yeah, and it has no sides, right? And no vertices or corners. What about this shape? What's What was its name? That's right. I knew I had some smart people. So this is a square and it's a square because it has one, two, three, four equal sides and it has one, two, three, four corners or vertices. All right, who can tell me what this shape is? And you know what, this shape has gotten a little lopsided. Can we fix it? Oh, perfect. Who can tell me what shape that is? It's a tricky one. That's right, it's a hexagon. Hexagon. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. Can you, does anybody remember the, the trick I taught you to um, keep track of what side you're counting, how many sides you've counted? That's right, we put our finger, we put our finger where we start. So let me put my finger here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's right, that way we don't make any mistakes because it's really easy to make mistakes in math. Okay, so we have six sides and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six corners or vertices. All right, so that's the hexagon, hexagon. And last we have our triangle, good job. All right, so our triangle has one, two, three sides and one, two, three vertices or quarters. Good job, guys. All right, so now we're gonna read our book, The Shape of Things. I'm gonna let you get good and comfy so that we can read it together. I'll give you just a minute, okay? Okay, friends, I'm back. Are you nice and comfy? Perfect. Okay, so the name of the book is The Shape of Things. It's written by Dell Ann Dodds, and it's illustrated by Julie Lacombe. Can anybody see um, any shapes on the front page, on, this, on the front cover of this book? Can you point and show me a square? Wow, that's great. Here's a square. Here's a square. There's a square. There's a square. And this is even a square turned sideways. Um, can anybody point to a circle? Do you see a circle? Look very closely. All right, good job. So the sun is a circle. The ball they're playing with is a circle. And then we see some circles over here on the side. Do we see any triangles? Can you point to them? Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. It kind of blends in with the back of the page, but the windmill has little shapes that are shaped like triangles. And we have some triangles on the side of the um, book. 
All right, so let's get started. The shape of things. Oh, wow, look at all these beautiful colors. I see circles and squares and rectangles. Oh, we forgot to talk about rectangles, didn't we, on the other page, but it's okay. We'll look for those in the book. Um, we see big circles, little circles. We see triangles and lots of patterns. I see lots of patterns and we'll learn about patterns later, but some of you may already know. The shape of things. A square is just a square until you add a roof, two windows, and a door. Then it's much, much more. Ooh, so they took that square and they added a roof, which is a rectangle. They added windows, which are also squares. They added a door and a chimney. Is your house a square? Is it a rectangle? Is it a hexagon? What shape is your house? A circles, just a circle, until you add some lights, chairs high and low, round and round they go. Ooh, look what they did here. Does anybody know what this is called? Yeah, a Ferris wheel. I love to ride the Ferris wheel. It's one of my favorite things to do. So we have a circle here. We have little circle lights. We have a big circle here. We have half of a circle that makes up the little seats that they're in. We have triangles and all kinds of shapes. I wonder what you could draw out of a circle. Hmm? A triangle. A triangle's just a triangle until you add another. An ocean and a sky. A seagull passing by. Oh, look. They have a boat that's in the shape of a triangle. They have a sail that's also in the shape of a triangle. Do you see any other shapes? Yeah, so the sun is a circle. We see lots of triangles, a pattern of triangles here, a pattern of purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, pink. And the same down here. Good job. All right, let's go to the next page. If I can turn the page, the silly page. A rectangle is just a rectangle until you add some more. An engine and a track, a red caboose is back. So let's see if I can show you the picture. Oh. Look, they made a choo-choo train and added all the cars to go with the choo-choo train in the shape of rectangles. What shape did they use to create the wheel? Yeah, a circle. A circle. How neat. I wonder what you could make out of a rectangle. An oval's just an oval until you add a nest, a wooden house, and then a patient mother hen. Hmm, what does it mean to be patient? Yes, it means you have to wait and you wait very calmly and nicely until it's time to do whatever it is you need to do. What do you think the mother hen is waiting on? 
Let's look and see. Oh, she's waiting for her egg to hatch. She wants her baby to come. So this is an oval. It's like a circle. It's not a shape we've talked about yet, but we will talk about it soon. So oval. A diamond's just a diamond until you add some string, wind and a tail, some fringe to help it sail. Let's see what they made. Oh, they're flying a kite in the shape of a diamond. Do you see any other shapes? Mm -hmm. I see rectangles. I see that we could cut the diamond in half and have a triangle here and a triangle here. And I see patterns. I wonder what you could make out of a diamond. A shape is just a shape, but look again and see. There's the sun, the sailboat, the Ferris wheel, the house, the kite, and the choo-choo train. All the shapes we've talked about. There are shapes of every kind. What shapes do you see? Yeah, I see a triangle. I see a triangle. I see circle balloons. I see a circle lollipop. I'm sure you guys see a lot more, don't you? How many can you find? I'll give you a minute and let you look. How many shapes can you find? Yeah, lots and lots of shapes. The end. Well, thank you for coming to read the book with me today, The Shape of Things. Now, you could go and draw a picture. You could make a rectangle into your own house, you could make a square into a house, or you can be creative and come up with whatever you'd like to draw using square, rectangle, circle, triangle, or hexagon. All right, thanks for joining me. Toodaloo!